Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Okay, today I'm going to start some animation of the character. So, but first I need to put a change the origin point for this object. So I'm just going to left select the bar. I'm actually going to name it. Just double click up here and just type in B A R and enter. And I'm just going to tab into edit mode. And I'm going to make sure I'm on face selection mode. So I'm just going to press control tab and left select face. Just going to select this face and press shift S and select cursor to selected. Okay, I'm just going to tab back into object mode. Press T to bring up this property panel. And under tools and set origin, I'm just going to left click here and set the origin to the 3D cursor. Okay, press T. So that just places our origin point for this piece firmly at its center now i'm just going to left select our character and press tab and come into pose mode so this is where we can add some animation and movement to him so i'm just going to come down here to the current keyframe and type in 24 okay and that just brings the timeline up to the 24th frame which is the first second and what i want to do is select the character one of the bones and press a once or twice to select all of them i'm going to press i to insert a keyframe and i'm going to choose location rotation scale and i'm going to come down here left click in here and just type in 48 okay i'm just going to select the character's head i'm going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate slightly i'm going to press Control space and select rotation i'm going to press alt space to change to local orientation and I'm just going to move his head slightly, drag it forward in the Y, just rotate it slightly, just to make it look like he is maybe looking over at the other side. Okay, I'm just going to press 1, see how that looks. Okay, I'm just going to press I. Again, insert a keyframe for the location, the rotation, and the scale at that point. And I'm going to come down to current keyframe. And I'm going to type in 72, press enter. And with the head bone still selected, I'm going to press Alt R, snap that back to its default location, and press I to insert another keyframe and choose location rotation scale. I'm going to select this bar. I'm just going to bring the mouse wheel back okay so i'm actually going to select I'm just going to select his head right and come back to come up to 72 just want to see where everything is okay so at this point i want i'm actually going to come back here for sorry now 65 and put in a location rotation scale i'm going to do the same for this bone i Location, rotation, scale. I'm going to do exactly the same thing over here. I, location, rotation, scale. And I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button. Just so I can find this other bone. Left select this. And press I, location, rotation, scale. Okay, so that just places a location, rotation, scale on four of these bones. At this particular point in time. So I'm going to jump forward to 72. Maybe 70, maybe 74. And rotate this up. Maybe to here, press I, location, rotation, scale. Select this bone, rotate it up. Press I, location, rotation, scale. Do the same thing here, just rotate this down slightly. Press I, location, rotation, scale. And again for this one, Rotate, press I, and insert a location rotation scale. Okay, I'm going to select this now and press I for location rotation scale. I'm going to left click in the current keyframe and type in 96, press enter, and rotate this to where I want it to be at 96, which is roughly about here. Press I and insert a location rotation scale. Okay, what I want to do now is select 
these bones and okay so when it's at 96 I want this to be coming down maybe to here press I location rotation scale select this bone maybe okay maybe I'll just leave this one here and insert a location rotation scale select this one again I can it'll just copy over press I location rotation scale and for these two I want this to come up maybe to here press I location rotation scale and for this one maybe just bring that one up behind maybe a little bit more so you can see his and press I location rotation scale so if we just press and hold the right mouse button and drag this back you can see might just drag this down so it's a little bit press I location rotation scale there okay so it just looks like he is grabbing that and rotating and maybe I'll select his head and just put a location rotation scale and as he's twisting maybe he's looking press I location rotation scale just press 1 okay and if I just scrub back to the beginning and press play okay as you can see the frames per second is very slow and I I'm not sure if it's that update I got recently from Apple but it's definitely not going the speed it used to okay so that's not looking too bad for the moment and I think I'll take a break after inserting all those keyframes so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you in the next one